you guys are just stopping me particularly from going in and using it. Yes. I'm you guys are denying surface because of my assistive devices. That is correct. Part three of a multi-part series featuring Guilford County, North Carolina. This video highlights Guilford County security guard, Calvin Robeson. Calvin Robeson was a security guard working for Guilford County Security in High Point, North Carolina in early 2020. Robeson had two encounters with Mike while Mike conducted an ADA compliance investigation into the county. The first encounter was on January 13th, 2020 in the public lobby of the public health department. You can't record in here. It's posted. They're, they have, they have records. records in here. Mm -hmm. Medical records. You can't have. record in here. Okay. Who are you? Who are you? I got the okay. yeah. Oh, do you work here? Yeah. Okay. All right. Lieutenant Bowen of Guilford County Security tells Robeson to disengage after Robeson aggressively attempted to interrupt Mike getting services. Bowen said that Robeson didn't work there. Oh, do you work here? The second encounter with Robeson was about a month later on February 4th, 2020 in the same public lobby. Robeson again interrupted Mike as Mike was trying to get service. Robeson again didn't identify himself, but nonetheless tried giving Mike directives. You need to leave. Okay, who are you? Come on outside, I tell you. Uh, no, I, I don't go with people that I don't know. I, well, I don't talk to people I don't know. Okay. And then I'll talk to her. Do you have business here? Yeah, I'm trying to conduct it. Who are you? You don't need to know that. You just need okay. to Okay. Well, you can't you can't leave. give people orders unless you identify yourself. So. Yes, I can. Okay. Well, your orders you are invalid. Well, we'll see. Okay. Can, so what kind of do you yeah, I'm just Robeson followed Mike and hovered over Mike while Mike stowed some prophylactics in his backpack. Yeah. You don't want to tell me who you, you, you don't want to tell me who you are? Where do you live? You live in High Point? Well, I don't understand. Like you ask me questions, I'm asking you questions. You haven't answered my question. <laughs> Robeson repeatedly refused to identify himself to the blind patron. Robeson made conflicting statements telling Mike he couldn't be in there, then saying he could stay till closing. Uh we close in a little bit. I know close at what, five? Yeah, all right. That's once they told me it was a private company. I was like, oh, okay. I thought that was part of the you Department of Health. You have to leave. You know that, right? What's that? You have to leave. You can't just. We can't have people just kind of sitting around. I like talking to people. Uh huh. You gotta leave. Oh, why is that? Because you, you don't have official business here. You, you're taking care of it. Oh, I do have official business here. So. You don't want to tell me who you are. Because you're like, you know. Why do you need? Well, you've been that giving that me that orders or directives, and to get out of here in a minute because we're and You need to leave. You're telling me to leave again? Yep. Okay. Who are you? Don't, don't you see me? No. no. You can pretty good. Yeah. Are you wearing Are you wearing a name tape or anything? No. You're not. Okay. Can I can't see it? Can you tell me what it says? We close in approximately 10 Will you at least tell me who you work for? Like, are you, are you, you a need, sheriff's department? You need or? to leave in approximately 10 minutes. Okay. Tell me who you work for. You don't need to know that. Oh. We close in nine minutes. All right. Robeson took advantage of Mike's inability to see him and even implied Mike isn't blind. You can't see right. So your camera's light is in my eyes. Okay. Who are you? Don't you see me? No. Good. Robeson grabbed Mike's assistive device, turning the phone away from Robeson and toward the other patrons. Robeson stated his reason for doing so was because of the light the phone was allegedly shining at Robeson. The body camera video shows no such light. But I didn't, I didn't get them the whole rundown of everything. Some, some of the stuff is, uh, what are you doing? Turn to your camera. Oh, why? So you are not filming me. Oh, oh please don't touch my things. Because that's against the law. What is? To film me without my permission. Oh, actually, that's not true. Yes, it is. Do you know what law that is? Mm -hmm. What law is that? My law. Your law? Right. Well, who are you? You need, to, you need to leave. It's actually illegal. If you don't have business, you need to leave. You touching my camera is actually illegal, sir. It's illegal for you. No, I didn't damage your camera. No, no, but you touched it without my permission. Your camera, you can't see right. So your camera's light is in my eyes, so I... Oh, the light's on? The light's on. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that better? Yeah, that's much better. All right. Robeson said it was his law that makes it illegal for the public to record him in the public lobby. 
against the law. What is? The film made without my permission. Oh, actually that's not true. Do you know what law that is? What law is that? My law. He even refused to identify himself when Mike asked the supervisor security guard Vince Dougherty to identify him. Okay. Can you identify him for me? Because I, I need a name to, to go with the complaint well, or the criminal he complaint. Officer, he'll identify himself. Can you tell me your name, please? No. Okay. So if somebody read None of the health department staff would assist the blind patron with identifying the man who accosted and assaulted him. Is that, can you tell me this gentleman's name? Like, he... he Grab my phone, like he tried to get my property, and I, he's not telling me who he is. I guess she can or he can. Can you tell me the name, please? I'm not going to, but you feel free to ask them. Okay, so if somebody read me the, the gentleman's name. You need to turn your recording device off. Robeson was the guard who pushed Mike in the wheelchair from the public lobby of the public health department to the magistrate's office next door in the county courthouse. The officer body camera footage, played in open court, shows that Robeson ran Mike's head into a door. Disability court here. Watch his head. Is there a disability court here? That's my head. That's my head. Calvin Robeson was allowed to retire after these events. Another public official who retired shortly after these events was the director of Guilford County Security, Jeff Fowler. Oh, okay, hi. You see me? Remember him? And you guys are denying service because of my assistive devices. That is correct. And okay. To, to reiterate, you're not, you cannot bring the uh, equipment into the building. Okay. Thank you. All right. Stay tuned for more coverage of the ADA discrimination committed by state and county actors in Guilford County, North Carolina. Deo Preso Liber. Thank you.